Meanwhile, the war continues to hurt people across the world. In Kenya, there's an economic crisis. People are dealing with soaring inflation and a high cost of living. The government is failing to tackle it. Now they've run out of cash. Kenya does not have money to pay the salaries of government employees. There is a major cash crisis in the country, also a public debt crisis. The government borrowed money left, right and centre, so debt has soared. And so has the interest on debt. It has touched $5 billion per year, $5 billion in interest payments on domestic debt. It is five times what it was a decade ago. Here's a report. Kenya's future looks bleak. It is facing one of the worst economic crises. It's been hit hard by a cost of living crisis. Food prices have risen by almost 16% within a year. People are unemployed and hungry. There is growing anger. And on top of this, now there's a major cash crisis in Kenya. It means exactly what it's called. Kenya does not have enough money available. So it can't do the things it usually does, like pay salaries. Public sector employees are not being paid their dues. Civil servants, including lawmakers, did not receive pay last month. Other government workers have gone three months without theirs. The impact has been worse in rural areas. Experts say there are fears of major social upheaval. Threats of potential workers' strikes have been made. Notifications of boycotting work have been shared. If this happens, the country may come to a standstill and Kenya cannot afford this. Because delay in salary payments is not Kenya's only problem. And not just the workers, county governments are broke too. They haven't received money from the centre. So health and education spendings have taken a hit. But the government does not seem too worried, which is perplexing. Presidential economic advisor David Nadi says he has good reason. He says workers will begin receiving their salaries soon, probably by the end of the week. He blamed the cash crisis on bad timing and low revenue streams, meaning there aren't enough sources to bring money in the country. He says the situation will improve soon, which is something the government has been saying for a while now. But the crisis has been worsening. Last month, the government paid off some interest on external debts, so it was left with less cash in hand. There is also growing public debt, $72 billion of it, and a cost of living crisis. Annual inflation was 9.2% in March, well above the central bank's target. This led to weeks of protests in the country. And all this as the Kenyan shilling weakens. Its exchange rate is tanking to historic lows. This has pushed up the cost of imports. About 6 million people are suffering acute food shortage. All in all, the situation is dire. But yes, one can call it bad timing. Kenya's economy is racing towards a cliff and racing against time. 2024 could be a crunch point. There is strong and ongoing support from the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank. The country has a $2 billion euro bond, but it expires next year. It needs repaying. Kenya is trying to come out of this. If redeemed successfully, pressures can ease for Kenyans. But the government is not sure when the cash crunch will be resolved. And the people are not sure if the government is doing enough to resolve it. Because the economic pain is intensifying, Kenya resembles a loaded but slow-motion train wreck. Coming out of this will not be easy.